The Meteorine 200 compact drain gauge is a drain gauge from Barang Design Technologies. It's a compact drain gauge, very affordable, very simple to use. Uh, it consists of a funnel, which has a 200 centimeter squared orifice area, a removable sieve, and a cup, which has the measure mechanism and the electronics. It's very simple uh, to assemble the funnel onto the cup by just placing the funnel on the cup and twisting clockwise to secure it and untwisting uh, or twisting counterclockwise to remove it. Very simple. To connect it, uh, all we need to do is connect the wire from any weather station to the two wire terminals. It doesn't matter which wire you connect where, as it is a read switch output. So let's connect the wires. Uh, first, take the wire and place it uh, close to the wire terminals to judge the length that you'll need. Uh, I recommend uh, stripping the wire from the furthest terminal um, to about quarter inch or one centimeter away from the first uh, plastic cable holder. So about there. We'll take the wire, keep it in our hands and just take a knife and just spin the wire in our hand under the knife and um, and then we bend it to see whether the cut is made. Maybe adjust the cut a little. And now we should be able to, with our nail, pull the, the wire jacket away off the wire. Need to use a little force if you didn't make the cut properly. And there it is. Very simple. Do the same thing on both of the wire leads. Cut maybe a quarter inch or a little more of the of the insulation off. This is a little easier. You can just place the wire between the knife and your finger and just pull. Very simple because the plastic sheeting is very thin. And once you have done that, I would recommend just twisting it so it's easier to put inside the wire terminals. Here we go. Like this. Then flip, flip the cup upside down and you can see on one side of the cup there is no hole. On the other side, there is a hole. And through this hole, we just slide the wires. And you can see they come out the inside on the top side of the drain gauge. And then all you have to do is either take a screwdriver, which is the simple way to do it, and loosen the wire terminal. Put one of the wires inside. You can do it from this side or you can do it from maybe even the other side if it's easier for you. Like I will just demonstrate. Sometimes you have to play with the wires if they don't like to cooperate. Use your hand to just slightly tighten the wire terminal and then the screwdriver to make it snug so it doesn't come loose. The other one I will demonstrate with a knife. Slide the wire inside the wire terminal, loosen it a little. Slide it in, make sure you see it on the other side. Hand tighten. And then if you're in the field and you don't have a screwdriver, use the back of a knife. And very simply, just tighten the, the wire. Now, as you can see, the wire is above the orifice for the water. So that's why we made two plastic holders for the, for the wire. And before we sl slide the wire inside the, uh, the wire holders, put a uh, zip tie along the cable and just put it loosely like this. And we'll put the zip tie between the two, two wire holders. Uh, and it'll act as a strain gauge so that when you pull on the wire or anybody accidentally pulls on the wire, it's not going to rip the or pull the, uh, the, the leads out of the wire terminals. Now we'll just put the, with our finger the wire leads along the edge of the of the of the rain gauge and then using our hands just slide the uh, the wire the cable in, into the cable holders just like this snap and there it is that's it now we can just pull on the wire to make it a little snug oh and you can see the the wire wire that i screwed with a screwdriver came loose and the wire that i screwed with a knife did not so again i will put the wire in the wire terminal and again we'll go ahead and 
make sure it's tight and see we can do this from the other side maybe yes let's try this again and there we go okay and now it's tight pull on it a little make sure it's tight okay. and then we we are set pull the cable out a little and then once the cable is just about like this about a, uh, sticking out about a centimeter or a quarter of an inch out the second the cable little holder pull the the zip tie and really tight tightly around the cable so it doesn't slide and this will prevent anybody from pulling on the wire from actually pulling on the little um, little wires that are in the in the wire terminals and then we can right up next to the uh, the lock just kind of cut the zip tie if you have if you have um, pliers it's a little easier with knife you can also do it and see and we're nice and snug the wires are here they're not going to go in the hole to prevent the water from dropping properly into the rain gauge and that's it that's all you have to do uh, then you put the funnel back on um, see the holes of the where the uh, cone snaps into and just twist and there it is snapped in and we have the wire coming from the ring from the weather station it's secure in the in the rain gauge here are the set screws as you can see on the rain gauge do not touch those those are calibrated the rain gauge comes pre-calibrated and uh, right now you should just be able to mount the rain gauge on the post or fence it comes with mounting screws you can use uh, hose clamps or anything else make sure it's level there is a water level here that guides you or you can use your phone placing it on top of the cup and you can use the water level in your phone to to uh, level the rain gauge also